Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm Michelle Brown, Creative Director from Picture to Page and Beyond and of course MixedMediaArt.net and we're looking forward to have a play with the Deco Foils today and their new toner sheets. So we hopefully we've got all the technology ready to go here on Facebook Live. If you've got any questions I can see the comments feed so just pop them in the comments and we will get started. Okay, so what I've got here is a collection of things to get started. So we have um, some <clears throat> um, gel prints already done and cut to size. I've got these deco foil sheets, which I'll have a show you what they can do. They are so much fun. They were going to turn all of your dies and punches into shiny objects, which is so exciting. Um, I've also got the adhesive pen here, so we'll use this as another way of adding foil to our gel prints. Um, I'm going to use the craft for you scribbled circle dies today in our little project and I've got a selection of deco foils here so we'll have a play with those as well. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is choose a gel print and I'm going to just choose the one on top there. So this is a nice simple design and you can see it's got a little bit of colour in it, it's sort of red and pink so it's got a little bit of purple in it. And um, this is also made from using the, um, the brayer. So what I'm going to do first is get a little bit of scrap paper and our adhesive pen and just create a bit of a border. So give it a good shake. Now these adhesive pens, we've been using these off for a couple of years and they are amazing how far they will go. So we will just make sure we've got a little bit on the side there. Okay, okay, so it's a little bit hard to see that adhesive on the screen. Okay, what we're going to do next is decide which colour for we want to use. So I might just do the edging with the purple. So we're going to pull it out and each of these tubes contains five sheets that are 6 by 12 inches long. So you get heaps of colour in every one. Okay, so as not to waste any, I'm going to cut this to size. There we go. Okay, now what I need to do is just check. Okay, so yeah, got a bit of a technical problem. Okay, so let's just give that another going over. I'm worried that it's not quite going to be enough. So when you first get a pen, just give it a good shake, get it moving. Just make sure you've got that glue flowing. Nothing like live video is there. Okay, we might come back to that step. So what we're going to do next is grab out a piece of our toner paper. So this comes with two sheets and this is sort of steel, the peel and stick one. So that's got the self-adhesive on the back, which I really like because it just makes it so much easier to add it to our um, decorations. So what we're going to do now is use one of these dies and I'm going to choose the medium size one. And what we will do is cut this to size so that it will fit through our die cut. And then what we will do is come over to our die cut. And I think we've got the technology to take you with us, so hold on. Okay, looks like it's working. So what we're going to do now is come over to our die cut. And I've got just one of the 
the little cuddle bugs here. So sticking that on with the die on top, putting the plates together, and then running it through. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so we'll come back to here. There we go. And so what we'll do now is pull that out. So these dies cut really well. We can pull out those bits and pull out all these little bits as well. Now I find that you can set those aside and make those great little embellishments for your art journaling. Those cut really well, so there's not too much fiddling to do. Okay, so that gives us a die cut using those toner sheets. So that is printed toner, black toner, ready to go through and the foil will stick to it. So what we're going to do next is go back and look at our colours. Hmm. Perhaps we might add a nice gold one for this one. So again, this is rose gold, one of my little favourites. I think we've got four or five different golds in the collection. So it's coloured on one side and silver on the other. So we always keep the coloured side up. And again, we don't want to waste too much. So we'll just cut out just what we need. Now to get the foil to adhere to the toner sheet, what we need to do is add some heat. So what we're going to do now is grab our piece of deco foil parchment paper, create a little sandwich in there. We're going to put our toner down first, then put our coloured foil on top. Then we will go over to our laminator. So hold on and we'll pop over there. Okay, so here we go. We've got just a normal office laminator. So we're putting the parchment through there, making sure it's nice and straight. And the parchment's there to really help us spread the heat and also to um, protect our laminator. So there's lots of different foil systems out at the moment. And this is my favorite because we can add it straight onto the gel prints. We can use the toner sheets. We can use the paste. There's lots of ways to be able to get it to work. So it's just coming through there and I can feel that feels nice and warm. Okay, so let's head back over here. Okay, so now we've got our little package and this is where the magic happens. So when we open it up, we can then pull it off and dun, 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 we have added the rose gold onto our die cut. Now I was so busy making that I didn't answer any of the questions. So let me just have a quick look. Hello, Lisa. Yes, I have got the Elaine Hull plates um, available. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Chris. Would it be able to use the pen on a rubber silicon stamp? Um, look, we've, we've had it with mixed success at the moment. There is a new product coming out which will have toner in the ink pad and we're looking forward to having a play with that. So you can do it if the stamp's not too detailed, but we're finding that the pen doesn't work as well on a detailed stamp. So there we go. Now we've got this fantastic little die cut all coloured in that beautiful rose gold. And the great thing about video is you can see the light glinting off, glinting off that. Okay. Now we're right to give our adhesive pen another go. My assistant has managed to get it working for me. So what we're going to do with that piece is again, just gently add some lines around it because it's mixed media. It doesn't need to be too, too neat. And wherever the pen goes is where the foil will stick to as well. Now, the other great thing about this foiling system is that if you've got a toner printer, whatever you print on will also um, will also stick to it. So again, we're going to do the same thing. Now you can see, just see, it's a little bit hard, the clear glue, and just see the light shining off it. So again, we're going to stick it into our parchment sandwich, put on our piece of foil, always with that coloured side up. Okay. 
and then we're going to head back to our laminator. Okay, so again, running it through the laminator. Um, you can also use an old iron or a craft iron to apply heat. A great way of adding foils into your art journals. You can use the um, transfer gel and then apply heat with an iron as well. Because as we know, our art journals just won't fit through the laminator, but it's a way of still adding all those pretty colours and shines to it. Do, 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 do. We're not going to add some music. We're doing enough with three cameras, let alone adding any music. Okay, so we'll head back. So now again, we've got our little, get all our gluey pages out of the way. We've got our piece of parchment. Now I just like to give it just a second or two to cool down. It doesn't take very long. So you can see there that it's stuck to it, but when we peel it up, it will stuck to just where the pen went. So it's a really fantastic way of adding just that little bit of bling to our gel prints. Now, of course, don't throw this away as well. We can easily um, run this through something else that, that might be a smaller shape or we could even, you know, perhaps stick that straight into our art journal as well. Now, so I've got my little background. I've got my pretty little shape. And what I'm going to do now, something that I don't do very often, is make a card. So to do that, I'm going to grab a piece of A5 card. This is um, probably about 180 GSM. Fold that in half. Okay, now I think that's going to be a good fit. So, now normally in art journaling, I'd use gel medium, but for cards, I'm just happy to use some simple double-sided tape. Find that works just as well. There we go. And just rip it to length, no bother cutting it here. Take off the backing. Now, if you haven't used double sided tape before, sometimes you just need to give it that extra little press before you pull it up too, just to make sure that it's stuck to you, to what you're working on. Okay, now we'll get that one into position. Okay, so now we've got the gel printed cut out with its beautiful, pretty purple border. Now we want to add this on as well. So I might do something like that. So I'm going to cut it there. And there. Now the challenge with these, if you have a more complex die, means it's a little bit harder to get the backing off as well, but I still really like having that peel and stick background because it really gives us that um, opportunity to stick more complex things. There we go, guard it nicely. So it might these things just take a little bit of patience. I'm going to stick that on here. And where else might we might look a little bit up here as well? So So you could use this as a greeting card or of course you could pop it into your art journal and use it as a bit of a feature. Yes, I have utmost respect for people that use very complex dyes and then spend goodness knows how long getting all the little bits out of it. I don't tend to have the patience for that these days. Okay. Now, usually we like to add things in threes, don't we? So I've got these little bits and I hate wasting anything. So I wonder... I reckon we can almost put that up there. What do you think? So this is a great thing. The, the toner sheets actually come in two different varieties. So one has the peel and stick on the back and the other one doesn't. So you can um, choose which you prefer. Again, I just really like this because once you've got the um, foil on, you're not 
worried about getting your flu your foil all gluey I was gonna say all fluey I think that's how we all feel at the moment isn't it okay now so we've got our gel print background we've got our purple border and our gold heart now our um, rose gold um, swirls okay now because we really hate wasting things I'm going to take the middle of this toner sheet and one of my little old Carl punches if any of you guys got that really cute little heart and I'm going to put it on the desk punch out a heart oh, maybe not on the technology table There we go, good old floor. So that gives me this cute little heart. Now what we can do with the um, purple that we used earlier, see how we still got quite a bit of foil on that. So I can pop it back into the parchment sandwich, pop the foil on top. Okay, now let's see if we can go back to our laminator. Pop it back through. So you can just keep running these foil sheets through the laminator until all the colour's gone. This is our fast laminator. <laughs> According to the box, we'd hate to be using the slow one today. Excellent. Okay, now we'll come back to the desk. Okay, so again, opening up our foil sandwich. And we can see, can you see there? There's that little heart press through. So again, rubbing it until we feel it cooling off, coming off. And then we've got one very cute little heart that's got purple on it. But also, how cute is that? I think that might make a card front on its own with a cute little window on it. That's the problem, isn't it? We keep everything and then we find, I'm going to add that down there. So was there any other questions? All of these products are now over on the Mixed Media Art website. So you can go to mixedmediaart.net and click on the shop online button and type in deco files into the search bar and you will find all the different bits and pieces. So there you go. Can you see that? So we've got the gel print background. I think we'll do some, we did some gel printing last week, didn't we? We can do again some more next week. We've got the die cut that we've then cut foiled with the rose gold, cut into three pieces, and then that cute little heart punch as well. So I hope that's given you some ideas of things to do. So we've used the deco foil sheets. We've used the craft for you circle dies. We've used the deco foils. So which come in, like we said, five sheets. So that gives us plenty of um, plenty of foil to go around. And they were the main things that we've used. I don't think we've got any other questions. Now, if there's anything else you would like to see, please feel free to leave a comment. Over the next few days, we're going to be playing with a few of the other Deco Fall products. I'm going to be playing with the Scrap FX Junk Journals. Um, I'm also going to show you more of the um, Elaine Hull journals that we've been making and generally just having a crafty time. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've had fun watching us make a very cute little mixed media card. Certainly not what I do very often, so a very special one there. And thanks so much for joining us today. Um, like I said, any questions, pop them below in the comments. And if you could, please, I'd love you to give us a heart or a like. And of course, share it with your crafty friends. Make sure they pop along to mixmediaart.net. That website's been going for 10 years and it's got all sorts of techniques, product reviews, um, a lot of evergreen content, so there's things around making your own backgrounds, um, gel printing, of course, lots of art journaling, lots of mixed media canvas, so all sorts of um, delightful and fun things are there to be had. So if there's nothing else, I hope you all take care, look after yourselves, and this is Michelle Brown signing off. Have a crafty day.